everybody, how you doing out there? It's New Year's Day today. I just want to give a shout out to everybody out there. Uh, this is my podcast. Going to make it very short and sweet. This podcast. Glad you're still watching my videos out there on YouTube. Yes, I'm a big, huge fan of all of you people out there. Just sending out subscribers, my videos, and uh, you guys don't have to watch it or see it or hear it, as they say. But no, uh, that's here, no there. But, like I said, I'm going to still be putting videos out there, no matter what you people say out there. I'm going to still be playing, uh, putting out videos, and I'm going to be doing what I do best, what I do best. I'm going to put the titles, I'm going to give you the best uh, footage, maybe footage, archive footage, maybe. Uh, uh, some past vid videos, not the uh, future videos, but past videos. My archive videos is what I would call it, the archive videos. Anyway. That entail, we are watching the Senate in uh, uh, in Capitol Hill. That's Capitol, Washington, D.C. That's not in Canada, this in the United States. But we're watching uh, the Senate. The Senate, they have a Senate in the Washington, D.C. area uh, in Capitol Hill. They're, they're doing a, a, roll, a roll call vote. I'll, I won't put that in the title, but I'll t they're doing a National Defense Spending Act as of now, as of now, live as it happens. These people don't take a holiday. They do a middle of a holiday. So bear that in mind. This is this is not a holiday for these folks in Capitol Hill. We're watching this live as it happens. I kid you not. Uh, I don't make this stuff up, like I said. I don't make this stuff up. Uh, it's New Year's Day, and everybody is there in Capitol Hill. They should be taking a holiday. Donald Trump would be tweeting out for, like that. Uh, I mean... I mean, are they joking? Are they joking? By the way, I'm going to put the title, it's called National Defense Spending Act. I'll put that as a big title on, the, on my uh, podcast. Uh, that's what they're voting on, on the National Def Spending Act. It's, uh, it's a big bill. Uh, <laughs> very big. Uh, it's a National Defense uh, Spending Act. Uh, and this is great because this is in Castle Hill and Revolt. You gotta take a vote. You gotta take a vote, everybody. Take a vote on this. Uh, that's the uh, that's the podcast show. Welcome. You can join me to this podcast. You can uh, you can assert yourself if you want. If you want to assert yourself into this in this conversation, you could if you want. Um, I'm just I'm just spewing out whatever I see, what I hear. Uh, so whatever I see, whatever I hear, I'm gonna I'm gonna give you the rundown of what we're seeing here. Uh, so, I'll give you the rundown. This is the National Defense Spending Act. Only it's happened, guess what? On uh, New Year's Day. Can you believe this? On a New Year's Day today. These people don't take a holiday. They do it right in the middle of a holiday. <laughs> Can you believe this? I bet Donald Trump is tweeting out saying, why these people should take a holiday and not do it on, on, on New Year's Day, right? Anyway, anyway. That's no here, no there. But anyway, I'll put a big title on this, and uh, I want to wish everybody a happy new year. It's a brand new year. We're starting a brand new year on the 1st of January. That's right, the 1st of January. Uh, brand new year, 2021. Can you believe this? We uh, have a brand new year. And remember, this coming September, this coming September, is going to be the 20th. I'm, I'm going to mention when the day comes around, the 20th anniversary of 9-11, that fateful morning. Uh, New Yorkers, that's New Yorkers. A fateful morning, 20 years ago. It'll be coming up this September of this year. Uh, I, know, I think it's November 11th. It'll be 20 years to that day. That actually happened. Can you believe it's actually 20 years? That actually happened, yeah. 2001 it happened. Under, uh, guess what? Under George W. Bush, if you can, uh, if you can fathom that one. So there you go. Under George W. Bush, watch. Um, I watched it live, as like everybody else on CNN that morning. It was a, it was a, it was a, you know, a normal day like everybody else. They all went to work, and they, you know, they do the routine kind of thing. And then all of a sudden, all of a sudden, these two planes hit the t twin towers, and yeah, this is no joke, folks. Uh, planes hit the twin towers, and those twin towers are supposed to hold up a. A uh, jet plane, uh, apparently, according to the engineers, um, those two buildings supposed to uh, not come down. Uh, it was it wasn't by demolition. It wasn't uh, done by uh, any uh, you know 
godlike thing that would do such a thing. Uh, but like I said, folks, it's terrible, terrible. So it's coming up to the 20th anniversary. We will mention that when the day comes to that. This coming September 11th. Uh, you'll hear it before September. You'll hear it before September of this year. Uh, then there you go. There you go. I will mention next. I'll mention be close to the September date. Uh, so there you go, folks. I'll mention it. The 20th anniversary of 9/11, and it's very sad. 20 years ago. Can you believe what you? Is the question I would put out? What do you we were doing 20 years ago? Can you believe it's been 20 years of 9/11? It took over, uh, actually, uh, to be honest with you people, it took five years after 9-11 uh, that they had to lower the uh, alert count. Everybody was in high alert after 9-11. I kid you not. There was uh, airports to you name it. Everybody was in high alert. It was, it was like a DEFCON 5. Everybody was in high alert. It was eyes wide open, the ears were uh, open wide. And, yeah, everybody was in high alert. Everybody had to watch out for each other because you never know if there's going to be a, you know, I'm, I'm going to say the T word. You know? So, yeah, everybody was in high alert. Uh, everybody was uh, very cautious after 9-11. It took five years after 9-11. If you can believe it. So it took, it took, it took to about uh, 2005. It took 2005, and then everybody stopped talking about 9-11 after that. People thought that was inside job, including me. Everybody thought it was the government that did that. They blamed everybody on us. Everybody to the from all the way from the top uh, food chain all the way down. So they blamed everybody. I remember vividly. Uh, everybody was at high alert. Just was five years after 9/11. Everybody was at high alert. It was really tense. It was really tense. So, uh, so like I said, it was very scary at the time, but, you know, it's like anything in the world. We're going to get through this. I mean, it was in high tense. It took five years after 9-11 for everybody to really lower their, uh, you know, high alert stuff. But, yeah. But, anyway, until, uh, until September 11th of this year of 2020, was it 2021? Yeah. It's going to be the 20th anniversary of 9-11. I'll talk about it when the day comes up on that date of this year. Uh, close to that date. But, yeah, it's 20 years. But we came this far, and people are not talking about it so much. They like to put it on the back burner. It's like uh, if you were a cook, at, uh, a cook at home, it's like the back burner. They don't want to discuss it anymore. They know what happened. They know they talked to it to a death, as they say. Uh, they know. They knew it was an inside job. They knew. It, they blamed the government. They blamed everybody about it. Uh, they blamed the hijackers. They blamed everything. Uh, so, and by the way, by the way, those people in that airplane overtook the hijackers. If you can believe it, uh, overtook the hijackers. So they're going to convert a, a a really bad situation turn good, if you know what I mean, into a good. So that's, us people can handle every situation out there, folks. Would it be a 9-11 to pandemic? On this boat? So the people that were on the airplane, this, I, I, don't, I, I don't even highly recommend that, folks. But they overtook the plane, if you know what I mean. A big major plane. So, th this was brave of them, but I don't highly recommend this to anybody doing this. But, uh, yep, they overtook uh, the hijackers. Uh, this is a true story, uh, according to many sources, um, to convert a uh, tracophy, as they would say. And, uh, yeah, they overtook the hijackers, but they, I should say, failed. But they failed miserably. Okay, so like I said, they they did they, they they wanted to take over overtake the hijackers in that plane. So you can imagine that the people that were people who were sitting in their seats in the airplane got all their seats, hijacked almost almost uh, really trying to convert the hijackers that were in the cockpit. And this was bravery. This is what you call bravery. Uh, 
It's just not. It's just not like Superman, you know. It's not like Superman, you know. You know. So there you go, folks. I'm, uh, Happy New Year. I'm gonna extend my. I'm gonna extend my. Uh, my welcome to you guys to listen to my podcast. And we're watching the National Defense Spending Act. I'll put that as a big title. Yeah, as a podcast. We are gonna go. And I'm very happy. Happy New Year, 2021. We're out of here, folks. We're out of here. Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye.